Hi guys, welcome to Wiki Tutor. In this video, I am going to talk about habits that can cause liver damage over time. Ah, the liver. Arguably, one of the most important organs in our bodies. Without it, we would be unable to store nutrients or break down toxins. But not everyone takes proper care of this vital organ and it's no wonder why cases of liver cancer have tripled since the 80s. As Dr. Roy Sataskar told, it's an organ you could easily trash if you don't take good care of it. And once you trash it, it's gone. Sadly, there are a lot of everyday habits that can hurt your liver without us even knowing about them. From taking common painkillers to using herbal supplements. So, if we want to keep our livers healthy and happy, let's take a closer look at these unhealthy diet habits and their impact on the liver. But before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon to receive every upload. So let's start the video. Number one, try not to eat red meat. Don't worry, we are not vegans who secretly want to steal all your bacon and destroy it. With that being said, you might want to consider cutting back on bacon, burgers and other red meat products. Eating a lot of red meats and processed foods can cause serious liver damage and illusion resistance. When participants ate an increased amount of red and processed meat that had a 50% increased risk of developing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a simple solution, change out your usual burger for chicken, turkey and fish. Supplements might do more harm than good. It's not just green tea. Some other organic herbal supplements can damage your liver. All natural does not mean non-toxic. In a study, researchers reported that herbal supplements caused 16% of liver disease cases in the past 8 years and more supplements are sold every year. Which supplements pose the biggest threat? Lists the main culprit, aloe vera, comfrey, cascara, chaparral, black, kosh, phaedra, and kava. Before you being taking herbal supplements, talk to your doctor, many of them can negatively interact with medication as well. The next thing is don't carb load before bed. Eating a balanced diet is important and eating the right foods at the right time is also a big consideration when it comes to protecting your liver from damage. Eating heavy and rich foods right before bed is believed to put additional pressure on the liver. Over time, this may cause liver damage. Want to eat a cheeseburger? Choose that option for lunch or an early dinner. At night, choose a healthy snack such as grapefruit, blueberries, cranberries and grapes. 
all of those foods have been shown to promote a healthy liver the next thing is decrease your sugar intake you have probably heard the health advice don't eat too much sugar before but you may not have known that over indulging in sugar could result in trouble the biggest danger is high fructose corn syrup another word for 55% fruit sugar and 45 glucose 45% group glucose according to harvard health publishing this chemical results in many liver complications the liver is the only organ that can process high fructose corn syrup as a result it builds up in the liver quickly through a process called lipogenesis the liver cells create fat which can eventually add up to cause fatty liver disease ask for this simple test our annual doctor visits stand to test for cholesterol blood pressure and heart disease but often skip a simple liver function test sadly you can develop a liver condition that is not related to bad habits and you might not show symptoms simple alt and ast tests can check for certain enzymes in the liver these tests are part of the routine chemistry panel and is typically covered by insurance so it's a great place to start a clean environment is key did you know that hepatitis b and c are the main causes of liver cancer worldwide if you have not been vaccinated against hepatitis b you are at high risk of contracting the disease and hurting your liver hepatitis is most commonly spread through shared needles unprotected intimacy and on very rare occasions through blood transfusion if you are getting a tattoo check the sterilization practices of your local tattoo parlor and in general stay safe in all of your personal activities untreated hepatitis c can lead to cirrhosis and liver cancer liver failure and even death the next thing is don't skip workouts exercise is not just for dieting it's also helps your body detoxify which improves your liver during a 2015 study in biomolecules rats who ran frequently ran had fewer fatty deposits and inflammation in their liver and exercise even prevented fatty liver disease from chronic drinking most research is needed to determine how much exercise is needed the study focused on aerobic exercise also called cardio which includes running walking and swimming in general try to work out at least 2 to 3 times per week don't procrastinate on visiting the dentist skipping a dental checkup may have more dire consequences than a cavity research suggests that there is a connection between tooth health and liver disease a 2021 study found that having one or more oral diseases was associated with a higher prevalence of cirrhosis complications 
more research is needed to clarify the link between liver disease and oral health although researchers don't understand the connection inflammation in the gum and teeth seems to affect the liver prioritize your dentist visit because those will help your liver too be aware of heavy drinking chronic drinking remains the biggest cause of fatty liver disease according to the american liver foundation 15% of heavy drinkers develop liver scarring a precursor to liver disease and cancer once you have an illness like cirrhosis your only remedy is to limit your drinking however much is too much for you can result in ongoing liver inflammation and overwork says gastroenterologist dr john skandar keep your caffeine intake at a moderate level believe it or not research has shown that drinking coffee may prevent liver disease in 2021 bmc public health conducted a study and concluded that coffee might protect against fatty liver disease cirrhosis and liver cancer in one study drinking two or more cups of coffee a day reduced the risk of cirrhosis by 66% that's not to say that you should over caffeinate researchers agree that a moderate coffee intake is all you need which the European Food Safety Authority defines as 3 to 5 cups a day just make sure your coffee is a, is not loaded with sugar not drinking enough water the liver processes your body's waste and it needs water to flush the toxins through as a result dehydration wear out the liver as the liver loses hydration it also loses its organ reserve or what it used to take care of the rest of the body not only does water help liver function but it also sweeps away toxic tissues essentially cleaning the organ the best times to drink water are after waking up before meals and before and after exercise these will nourish your liver when you are likely to be dehydrated chronic stress do something about it now the mind and body are so intertwined that prolonged stress can cause disease including liver disease in 2015 researchers from university of edinburgh discovered that those who suffered from psychological distress were more likely to get fatty liver disease psychological distress include anxiety and depression earlier finding back up this conclusion according to the world journal of gastroenterology stress increased inflammation that may lead to cirrhosis while stress is not a daily habit per se not seeking a cure could injure your liver over time eat more fruits and vegetables for the sake of your liver you will want to eat fruits and vegetables during every meal produce contains high amount of antioxidants which are essential for liver health in 2015 scientists connected oxidative stress uh, with a high risk of liver disease it also restores the liver's natural antioxidant that it uses to detoxify chemicals high antioxidant foods include blueberries strawberries spinach green beans artichokes beets and kale the research recommended turmeric and green tea as a source of high antioxidants
smoke hurts more than your lungs lightning of doesn't just harm your lungs it also hurts your liver according to a research smoke increases the risk of fatty liver disease by up to 46% the more dominant the habit the higher the risk becomes like other liver damaging habits smoke raises oxidative stress as the liver works to break down the toxins these dangerous chemicals kill off healthy liver cells if you are at risk of liver disease you will not to make a change soon cut out sugary drinks where possible yes sugary drinks are yummy but the more you drink the more you could potentially damage your liver researchers linked the consumption of sugary drinks to a higher risk of fatty liver disease diet sodas did not have this effect how much is too much according to research in childhood obesity drinking two sweetened beverages a day is dangerous for your liver replace your sweet iced tea and unsweetened tea to your juice and herb infused water make sleep a priority everyone has a sleepless night once in a while but if you are consistently getting under 7 hours of sleep your liver may suffer consequences researchers from the Baylor College of Medicine explain that chronic sleeplessness creates its own set of genes these genes interrupt acids that promote healthy liver function the study published in cancer cell concludes that the abnormal liver function may prompt the development of tumor cells concerningly 80% of americans have their sleep disrupted regularly remember that your liver work mostly at night so make those 7 to 9 hours of sleep a priority don't ignore your cholesterol unfortunately many western diets include high cholesterol if you are ignoring how much you are eating you might be at risk for liver disease especially ldl is bad bad cholesterol that leaves fats around the liver while hdl is healthy type too much ldl could produce liver disease which in turn create more ldl although the liver normally processes cholesterol too much of it can build up to create the harmful compound nafld as your liver struggles to process cholesterol it produces more cholesterol if you already have high cholesterol you will want to monitor it as you have a greater risk of liver disease taking supplements with green tea extract can cause damage dietary supplements are not hard, hard to get but they can harm your liver over time in 2017 the national institute of health conducted a study linking liver damage to dietary supplements according to the research weight loss and body building supplements pose the most risk but those were not all some supplements made for depression and digestive issues were also flagged of all the ingredients the two most dangerous were anabolic steroids and oddly enough green tea extract check with your doctor if you are concerned about your current supplements stay away from high glycemic foods before bed 
high glycemic foods are those which contain a high amount of carbohydrates including white bread and potatoes their makeup can put the liver into overdrive especially at night according to dr george the liver mainly works at night and sleeping after eating these foods force it to work harder foods that contain vegetable oils such as margarine can also produce this effect instead of snacking on late night cereal opt for fruits vegetables or dairy says dr cosmits in particular beets and carrots can help the liver rebuild overnight why you should monitor your weight although many people see weight as a self esteem reflection doctors view it as a health predictor an often overlooked consequence of obesity is developing fatty liver disease remember that an unhealthy weight varies from person to person weight based fatty liver disease is distinguished from that caused by drinking but according to researchers it causes the same amount of liver damage even in patients who have never had a drink eating well and maintaining exercise will prevent this illness talk to your doctor about your range of healthy weight try not to lean on over the counter painkillers for years researchers have warned people that taking too many over the counter painkillers can cause liver damage the culprit of acetaminophen which is found in medicine like tylenol and aspirin when acetaminophen breaks down it produces the compound napqi which is harmless until it interacts with the compound in the liver the fda recommends staying under 325 mg per dose the daily maximum of 4000 mg the same amount as one extra strength tylenol pill to be safe follow the dosage recommendations even a small amount more than directed can cause liver damage the fda announced are you getting enough vitamin b12 vitamin b12 is essential for healthy liver function it helps the flow of bile in the liver and decreases the likelihood of liver disease and hepatitis The recommended daily dose of vitamin B12 is 2.4 mcg. Many people get this amount through food like eggs, tuna, beef, cheese, chicken and pork. If you follow a vegetarian or vegan diet, however, you are at risk of a vitamin B12 deficiency. Some breakfast cereals and brown rice are fortified with vitamin b12 if you are under 50 you may not need to supplement but talk to your doctor if you are worried kick saturated fats to the curb saturated fat intake according to a study Uh, could be worse for your liver than sugar or unsaturated fat researchers gave 1000 extra calories a day to 30 overweight participants the extra calories were split up into groups that included saturated fat unsaturated fat or simple sugars 3 weeks after the study began researchers ex- examined metabolic outcomes intra hepatic triglyceride a marker for fatty liver disease had increased by a shocking 55% in the saturated fat group 
in the unsaturated fat and simple sugar group the increase was only 15 to 33% once again the balanced diet is your best bet for liver health trans fats can scare the liver artificial trans fats are unsaturated fats found in hydrogenated oils as opposed to naturally occurring trans fats in animal and dairy products although trans fats are in a lot of processed foods they are not healthy for your liver during a 2010 study researchers recorded that trans fats scare your liver in particular combining trans fats with fructose and sucrose which many processed foods do increase the risk of fatty liver disease in mice according to bmc nutrition and metabolism trans fats create oxidative stress in the liver which inflames it that's another reason to limit trans fat in your diet do not ignore the signs of liver damage we have focused thus far on all the habits you are actively engaging in in that could cause harm to your liver but what about a step that could cause further harm there are various warning signs that can help you realize your liver is in trouble among the warning signs are incredibly itchy skin a yellow tint to your eyes or skin sudden weight gain sudden weight loss red palms a sudden shift in sleep schedule a memory loss you might also suffer from exhaustion a lack of appetite enlarged breast in men and a change in personality also be on the lookout for developing bruises too easily swollen ankle and legs confusion random body pains bloating dark urine a lack of concentration constantly feeling chills and dry eyes or dry mouth eating too much salt the recommended daily amount of salt is between 2000 to 2400 mg unfortunately most people eat more than that how does this affect the liver an over salted diet creates water retention which overworks and inflames the liver people with pre existing liver conditions have to adhere to a low sodium diet to prevent this watch out for processed foods that often use salt as a preservative so friends i am sure you liked the video stay tuned for more amazing content See you guys in another exciting video. Thank you so much.